access to what they believe, what their experience is, what they feel. Um, and um, undifferentiated people can be very rigid. Okay. They can be emotionally dependent, most likely. They can be at the mercy of involuntary emotional reactions, so quickly react to things instead of able to think it through. Now for those people that are from very, very disengaged families, which is far too much separateness and not enough closeness, um, you, you can have uh, certainly rigidity. You can also have um, emotionally unable to attach, unable to connect. So instead of dependence, you can have far too much independence and a lack of ability for intimate connection. So either way, it's dysfunctional. If it's, if it's too far in the extreme, you want a balance. You need a balance. Differentiated people, on the other hand, are healthier. They can be intimate without being shaped, so they can have their own sense of self, their own identity, and yet understand and foster other identities um, in, in their partner, in their, in their children, that can be separate and yet connected. They can analyze their role in relationships objectively. versus blaming other people. There's not a lot of need for blame when you are differentiated because you share, you, you've kind of got more of a sense of we're in this together. A problem with one person, we all are going to handle that and, and manage that and, and be involved in that together. Adaptive level of functioning, even with stress. So, a lot of families have stress, right? There's internal stressors, there's external stressors. Some families handle those well and some families don't. Differentiated families are those that you will see and you'll be going, wow, they, they did a pretty remarkable job of handling that big stressor in their life. It would be because they're able to, to do these things. Differentiated folks, Families are flexible, adaptable, and also self-sufficient. They're not dependent. They can offer assistance, and they're there for each other. They are in a supportive capacity, but they are not kind of sucking each other dry for dependence. They are able to feel their own feelings, but also be aware of others. So you've got a sense of self and you've also got a sense of others. They're able to balance that. Attachment, in other words, is healthy. It's secure. Okay. Do you typically see that families are either one or the other? Or is there... Yeah, I think that um, I see families as being on a continuum. Right? So I see differentiated, and then I see undifferentiated, or what they call is fused, right here. Okay. So, um, so they, they tend to be anywhere on this continuum. So, some families are further down here, and some are further up here. Bowen says that we will unwittingly find partners that are at the same level of differentiation in their families of origin as we are. Isn't that interesting? Okay. And yet many people will report, well, my family is extremely fused. We call each other 20 times a day, and i got to make sure I'm always there for Sunday lunch, which has caused a lot of trouble with my, my husband because he doesn't want to go to my house every Sunday and have lunch with my mom and dad and my, my siblings or so but what what's interesting is they um, so extremely fused people may find 
the same kind of, um, the, but the opposite. So, but this might be, so this might be um, a meshed. Too close, they'll find just the same amount of too distant and disengaged. Disengaged.